What are the top 10 best villager trades in Minecraft? Let's take a look at my list. Number 10, the stick trade. One of the best ways to get emeralds early game, but not necessarily the most sustainable. Trading 32 sticks for one emerald, it'll definitely help you out if you don't have any automatic farms. But when it comes down to it, there are better and more effective ways you could be using that wood. Number 9, the name tag trade. While a valuable item, it's also a pretty expensive trade. 20 emeralds for one name tag is very expensive, especially if you haven't cured your villagers. But if you've been having trouble with your dungeon luck, this is a great way to get that perfect name for your pet or make sure your zombie never despawns. Number 8, the pumpkin and melon trade. Just by setting up a super simple automatic farm, this is by far one of the best and easiest ways to get emeralds. You can get these both down to a 1 for 1 just by curing the villager once, and even without it, it's a 6 for 1 for pumpkins and a 4 for 1 for melons. Number 7. Trades for building blocks. If you're a builder like me, but hate the pain of grinding for all of those really nice looking blocks, the masons are definitely the hero of this trade. They trade for pretty blocks like bricks, andesite, terracotta, glazed terracotta, and quartz, which mostly are really difficult to get in survival. And as an added benefit, they all trade for one emerald apiece, which is great because you don't have to cure the villager. Number six, the bookshelf to book infinite trading loop. If you've cured all your villagers before, this is a really easy way to get a whole bunch of emeralds at one time. By getting the bookshelf trade and the book trade down to a one-to-one -one in the library and trading menu, you can easily get infinite emeralds by buying a whole bunch of bookshelves, breaking them, and selling the books back. You gain two emeralds every time you do this, but the only downside is the trades lock pretty quick. Number five, tools, armor, and weapons trades. I would say this one's pretty self-explanatory. If you can cure your armorers, weaponsmiths, and toolsmiths down to really, really cheap trades, you can get pretty much free diamond armor, diamond tools, and diamond weapons. You'll never have to spend another diamond on these things, and if you're lucky, you'll get some good enchantments too. Number four, Rotten Flesh and String Trades. Both of these are incredibly beneficial if you have an automatic mob farm. Rotten Flesh is bought by the Cleric 32 for 1, and it's incredibly helpful for getting rid of junk items for emeralds. String is bought by both the Fisherman and Fletcher. The Fisherman is 20 for 1, and the Fletcher is 14 for 1. And if you remember, the Fletcher also has the Stick Trade, so matched up with the String Trade, this could be a pretty powerful villager. Number 3, the Glass to Glass Pane Infinite Emerald Loop. By buying glass from a librarian, crafting it into glass pane, and then selling it to a cured cartographer, you can get a much better infinite emerald loop than the book to bookshelf. This is a little bit harder to set up just because of the sheer number of cartographers you need. The trades can lock up pretty quick, but it also gives you a whole lot of emeralds and can open you up to a few new trades, so the benefits are there. Number two, the golden carrot trade. For arguably the best food source in the game, farmer villagers offer golden carrots for a great price whether they're cured or not. For most people, this is definitely a late game trade, but definitely a very valuable resource to have. This is the food you're gonna see all the best Minecraft players in their late game worlds using, and there's a reason for it. For its value in saturation and as a food, I don't see why you wouldn't go for this. Number one, enchanted book trades. Librarians offer pretty much any enchantment you want. The only exception being soul speed. Some of these are even ones you don't usually get in the enchanting table, like mending or frostwalker. Even the highest level enchantments, like sharpness 5 and efficiency 5. Librarians can sell you up to 4 enchanted books, but what really sets them apart is the ability to cure them multiple times to get pretty much any enchantment for one emerald. In my opinion, once you have a setup with a whole bunch of librarians and good enchanted books, it's really what sets apart the early game from the late game, and allows you to do so much more things in Minecraft. So there is my top 10 best villager trades in Minecraft. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you click that like button and consider subscribing.